second time we go on the ferry with this car. With our room here, oh, there's like an eight, eight bed, eight bed, nine bed. It's like this. Just food holes. A yoo-hoo! <laughs> yes! Oh, finally! Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena, and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon traveling around the world. You know, here at the terminal, and hopefully we can get our ticket here. So yeah. <laughs> So we gave them all the documents, or they took pictures of all the documents. They have to contact now Korean Customs, then they get back to us, and then we can, then we can book the ticket in. So hope, they said it takes about a week to get it, like, kind of thought so. But we hope we can get the tickets earlier, so we can leave Japan early, so we can see more of South Korea, or we have more time for South Korea. Because the ferry to uh, Russia is already booked for mid-September. Luck was on our side. So instead of waiting seven days, we got an email from the agent the same day that we can leave actually even three days time. So we spent the last three days in Fukuoka, just did some last minute shops. We went to the um, food stalls along the river yesterday. And he's very excited right now. We're about to head into something he watched many, many, many YouTube videos yeah. about. I watched so many YouTube videos about it. I don't know why. It takes like 45 minutes. The video to just fill up food stalls and I always wanted to see them. <laughs> We're finally here. So I can see them with my own eyes. This is where we're going to be having our last dinner. And now we're back here at the ferry terminal, waiting for the agent to get the customs clearance and everything done. Well, we we're about to go on the ferry or drive the car under the ferry. Serena was not allowed to go with me. But here, that's the boat. So, yeah, I'll go on the ferry and then I will see Serena Please just before immigration again. Oh, here we go. Second time we go on the ferry with this car. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a bit bigger here. Thank you. 
find our room. It's like we're a part of the crew. Onsen. Oh, she really should have brought our towels. We even got karaoke rooms here. Four of them. Three, four. Some gambling. School tester. Six hour ferry ride, so it's not too bad. Okay, let's see what we get up to. I got separated. So I go, she has to go alone through migration. I have to go and pick up the car and then probably see after that. See, see her in South Korea again. Like oh, just came off the boat. Couldn't film too much because I was a bit busy. Seeing customs next, but new country. Guess quarantine first and immigration, and or immigration first and quarantine, and then we'll see. Oh, that was a lot of effort now. So we just made out from customs. We got all released. We got all documents. Oh, the problem was the insurance. They wanted six hundred thousand yen, which is about six hundred fifty Aussie dollar. But but in cash, and we don't have that much cash on hand. So we had to go to an ATM, 
and per transaction which costs us 4,801 we could only get 100,000 won out so we had to do the transaction six times so we paid about 40,000 won no not 40,000 what is that 30,000 won just in face and then we got there and we asked why is the insurance so expensive but they insured us for longer than what we actually need because we're leaving Russia on 17th of September so we got we got insurance from 600,000 down to 319,000 which is almost half and then which we didn't know either but no one told us we have to pay 200,000 won as well to um, the government because of our engine size our engine is like 4.2 liter it was just above the bracket for the lower class so yeah, all up, this cost us, what is it, 520,000, plus the fees, so yeah, but we made it, it's now, what is it, 8.30 p.m., Serena's now here going here to Combini, getting a SIM card, and then we make our way to where we're staying tonight. And on top of that, after all that hustle, such a long day, thing is, which we I thought the whole time South Korea is left-hand drive as well, like Australia and Japan. I knew, I found out a couple of weeks ago when we did our little visa, they're not. So they're driving like most of the world, or like we do in Germany as well, on the right-hand side. So uh, I don't drive, right-hand side of the world, straight, so we, uh, road. So we will see how that works over the next couple of weeks. But the funny thing is, customs did ask me as well if I have a, a co-pilot with me. So probably that's what I asked because my, we, well, my steering wheel is on the wrong side. So yeah, that will be fun. Especially that light, that light was such, after such a long day, stressful day at the end. 